What's up guys, it's Punchy with another anime inspired deep open build. Today I'll be showing you the dynamic and exciting place to solve Juice Krita with a build inspired off of Shinra Kusakabe. This character is from the anime series Fire Force, or one of my favorite shonen shows, and it's pretty easy to recreate in Deep Oaken. Before getting into this video, make sure to check out my recent video where I began my series talking about Deep Oaken specs. Last episode I went over the developer Melonbeer's abilities and his unique drip. Again, my Discord and Twitter can be found below, and check out those to support me. Thank you guys and enjoy the video. Based on his feats in the anime, Shinra, our favorite Fire Force soldier and hero, has the ability to produce flames from his feet, perfect for a breakdancing Juice Krita flame charm build in Deep Oaken. Shinra's appearance is quite easy to replicate in Deep Oaken, and I think I gave him justice with my attempt. Given Shinra's black hair and fair skin, I think that Kenora was the best option, and with the passive loyalty, I can fully express his love for his comrades through the race. It is a shame we can't go for the full demon mode phase or red eyes, but any race with dark hair works best for his character. This character is not fully maxed out, but with a power 55, I've allocated 20 points in strength for an attempt at Ash Slam, 25 fortitude for an attempt at Fist of Fortitude, 35 agility for our basic dodge talent. 40 intelligence for more ether, 8 willpower for dirty boxing, 2 charisma, 95 in light weapons, and 75 in flame charm. As of now, I don't have a bell and Juice Krita cannot use enchants at all. The main problem of the fighting style itself is the fact that there are no specific weapons for it. For Juice Krita fighters, the only option is to use a firearm as a side weapon. Regardless, I think I made it work. The first mantra that I use frequently in this build has to be Rising Flame or Krona, which is me misspelling Korna. Shinra in the show puts his hands into some rock and roll horns, which is what Korna means as he pushes himself further as he kicks at light speed. In this case, we're using Rising Flame to push people into the air and combo them whenever possible. This works perfectly with the Meteor Talents to maximize damage and is quite essential for a Fire Force build like this. The next move I've really enjoyed is going to be Flame Leap or Adola Blast. I actually modified this thing with a Reverse Spark and several Cloud Stones to flip it into an offensive Axe Kick of Swords. Shinra often flies into the air and slams down into his opponent which tends to do serious damage. I ended up slapping a Wayward Gem on this thing so I can throw my opponent into the air and follow up with an attack in the air. I'd recommend trying this out because I rarely see it in use. Third move is going to be Flame Grab or Rapid Grab, basically just a throw that Shinra will do when he's moving super fast, but we use it for mix-ups. On this build, it's not optimized for insane damage, but sometimes it can catch the opponent lacking. The fourth mantra is a modified version of Flame Servants, which I call Adola After Effect. There are times in the anime where Shinra moves so fast that his opponent sees a mirage in the flames he leaves behind, which this is supposed to replicate. This move isn't often used, but with some Cloud Stones, you'll spawn a lot of these things which proc Emperor Flame almost every time. Next move that's a little bit of a bonus is going to be Fire Forge, or what I named Catalyst. Shinra doesn't actually use any projectiles, but with this, it can be any rapid attack that he does with his fire attacks. This move is best used after a flourish, or applying pressure while sliding that some fighters aren't ready for. And the final mantra I've got my hands on today is Fire Blade, or what I've called Hellfire Cut, one of Shinra's vertical kicks that do a lot of damage. This move is perfect for applying pressure against blocking opponents and unexpected guard breaks. And that's all. I think we all know that Flame Charm has a ton of good talents, but I think my combo game was heavily carried by Flame Charm's rare talents. Essential talents for this build are going to be the impact talents which affect our Korna and Adola Blast. Every time the opponent is in the air, do some increased damage with these moves and restore some resources while you do it. Another one of these talents that gave me some snowballing potential potential had to be the final act. Once you finish a flourish on an opponent, a quick mantra hit will cause an explosion to occur. Awesome, especially for Juice Krita because of the increased swing speed and paired with the finisher's ring, you can do some major damage consistently. One more rare talent that's a product of willpower and fist is going to be dirty boxing. Whenever you faint and hit a target, they will experience a bleed effect as well as a blinded screen. This is super annoying with the fast kicks that come from Juice Krita. I've got my gripes with the reduced damage of Juice Krita itself, but it's alright and very fun. Basically, you can kick very fast with increased range at the cost of damage itself. I've had combos that worked very very well but have fallen short due to my lack of damage. This could be a skill issue on my end but I would like some weapons that Juice Krita users can use. Juice Krita also has a unique critical attack which I actually have never seen guard break but it is cool for movement and extended pressure. This is a downgrade to the increased damage of Legion Kata and the well-rounded style of Neve Fist but it is something cool to try out. Here's a full list of my talents if you'd like to try them out. This build would benefit a ton with Mirage clones or that flame halo move but I unfortunately did not get them. Slow down the video here if you want to see my entire list of my talents. Today's drip is pretty special, but I wasn't able to fully capture the orange jumpsuit, so I went with a Fire Soldier outfit. The coat I have equipped is one of the Authority Commander coats, and it's paired with the Ignition Union uniform, which looks like the metallic portion of his outfit. For my shoes, the most important part, I put on some Enforcer boots because they look the sharpest, and that means it does more damage. Real, by the way. It's a shame there's no orange outfits, but this is the best we're gonna get. I think I did a good job. Check out some fights where I do some crazy combos and sometimes win and sometimes lose. Shinra is strong, but he's not undefeated, so join my attempts with Juice Krita versus the current meta.
Thank you all for watching and all the support recently on my videos. I'm excited that we're almost at 21,000 subscribers, so make sure to like and subscribe if you want more videos like this. I love you all and have a good one.